Since school is starting up again soon, I thought I would give some of my tips and tricks from what I've learned in college. I will be starting my junior year, so I've gotten a couple years of experience under my belt. And if you'd like to hear more from an experienced college student like me, just keep watching. So the first topic I would like to cover is changing your major. I decided at the end of my senior year of high school that I would be going to Butler University for pharmacy school. I was very set on this plan. I told myself I am not graduating from Butler unless I have a PharmD. But my first two years were very difficult. I was often miserable and cried a lot because of my workload and honestly all the general classes just weren't interesting to me, but I kept trying my best and working hard to try to keep doing all these classes and taking on this workload, but eventually it caught up to me. I know that most people say if you really want something, you can work hard and you can get it. I thought it was something that I could do, but I kind of psyched myself out and put way too much pressure on myself. So long story short, after my first two years of pre-farm, I decided I need to make a change because honestly, I felt like the pharmacy major wasn't really working out for me. So just before my finals week, my sophomore year, I decided to change my major, which was a huge decision for me because I never thought this roadblock would come up before me. It really felt like a life or death moment, but now that I've had a couple months to think about it and I've already taken a class towards my next major, I feel like switching was really the right thing for me. I am now a healthcare and business major, which I'm not really sure what you do with it, but it sounds like there is a very wide variety of options of different things you can do with that major. Another thing is I have started working in a pharmacy this summer and just seeing the pharmacists and what they do and their workload, I just am not sure it really was for me in the first place. So that kind of brings me into some tips I have for incoming freshmen. One of them which is keep an open mind. I obviously went in my freshman sophomore year, I was like, I am going to be a pharmacist and nothing else. But now that my viewpoint has changed, I think it was for the better because I don't think I would have enjoyed myself after six years of school and go into a profession that I wouldn't like. Another tip I have for incoming freshmen is to make connections, specifically making friends and getting to know your professors. It's been really easy for me, since I do go to a small school, to keep a close connection with my professors and they are always there for me and are pretty much available whenever I need them. And I always think it's very, very important to make a good friend group at first. Just go up and try to meet as many people as you can. That's what I did. I'm not the most social person, but I really tried my best. That was the one thing I really put myself out there. Met as many different people as I could, which really help, has helped me. Another tip I have is to do stuff you normally would not do. I had no intention on joining a sorority when I came to college. It just was never on my radar. I never even thought of it as a possibility for me, but I feel like that was a great way, especially I feel like since a lot of people are involved with Greek life at Butler, it helped me to meet way more people that I normally wouldn't have. And when I went off for school, I made it a priority to go off and try different foods, which I think has also helped me a lot because I'm no longer the person that only orders chicken and fries at any restaurant I go to. So now that I have some of the big stuff out of the way, I thought I would do a little backpack tour and show you guys what I keep in my backpack when I'm at school. Pretty much anywhere I go on campus, I always have my backpack on. It's one of my favorite things. It is the perfect size, I feel like, for what I need. Um, it has two compartments and then has a little laptop sleeve in the back. So I usually keep like pens and pencils up here and then this little zipper part and then the little laptop compartment. This is from Northeast. 
So of course I will keep my laptop in there. So I have that. And then I got an iPad at the beginning of my sophomore year. So that's also something I carry around. I can fit both of those in the little laptop sleeve in my backpack. And then in the main compartment, usually I just have my books, binders, folders, whatever I have. In the past, I've been able to go back and forth between my dorm or my sorority house to drop off books and get new books for different classes. But next year I'll be living on campus still, but in apartments that are all the way across campus. So that's gonna be a new challenge I'm gonna have to overcome. But in this little front compartment here, I just keep different color pens. You never know when you need different color pens for different things. I keep a couple highlighters. A little ruler, I found that this has saved me in different situations for many different classes. Pencil, pen, here's a Sharpie, never know when you might need that. Dry erase marker, there's lots of different dry erase boards around campus and if I ever need to like draw something or make some kind of diagram, I have this to do that for. Hand lotion, just for if my hands are feeling dry in the winter, whenever. Pencil lead, very important if you have mechanical pencils. And I have my little calculator, my TI-84. Portable charger, you never know if you're gonna need to charge your phone. Any point, headphones. I don't have AirPods, so I just use these. Chapstick, of course, and I think this is gonna be a new addition to my backpack. I am sure we are gonna have to wear masks when we're back on campus, which I'm not too excited about, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So that pretty much wraps everything up. I hope you guys enjoy this video and please take my three tips seriously if you are going to be a freshman in college because I think those are very important to make sure you pay attention to. And please comment down below what your guys' schools are doing in the fall. I'd really like to know. So this is a bye for now, but see you in my future videos.